The last prototype case for the indicator lever was made at an angle to suit a deep dish rim. For other standard rims to be used, the redesigned case needs to have a lower profile with additional space for the paddle shifters. This new design started in fusion with a picture of the front of the wheelbase as a canvas. The switch assembly and lever are then modelled to scale as a reference. The new low profile case is designed around the switch by using the wheelbase canvas to locate the mounting points. With the design complete, the next step is to print the case on the 3D printer. For the electronics, we are using a joystick encoder, USB cable, wired connections and a four-way joystick. The switch is wired with the same method as found on the original setup. With the joystick lever installed and wired into the case, it is mounted via the two mounting points located on the wheelbase. The next step is to remove the lower M4 bolt on the base and use a longer one to mount the case. The two bolts are then tightened down to secure the lever. With the new lever mounted, there is enough space for the paddle shifters to operate when using the BMW rim or when using the universal hub with the standard rim. The next step is to set up the USB joystick in the game's controls and assign the lever functions. The lever can be used to control lights, wipers or indicators. Using the four-way joystick is a simple and easy way to add a light and indicator store for your truck simulator setup.